2023 Mitsubishi Expander Cross gets a facelift, minivan SUV still looks polarizing. Because everything has to be an SUV these days in one way or another, the Mitsubishi Expander Cross is a high-riding minivan with a somewhat tough look. It was launched less than three years ago and is already getting a facelift. Lest we forget that Mitsu has a long history when it comes to rugged people movers as the Delica has been around for decades, complete with all-wheel drive whereas this sends power only to the front axle. The facelift introduced today brings several changes, but the van on stilts looks as polarizing as before. Unveiled at the 2022 Indonesia International Auto Show and already on sale, the Expander Cross has a redesigned front fascia with new headlights that continue to have a split arrangement but with a T-shaped layout. The turn signals have been moved in the upper cluster to make them more visible while the hood is now thicker than before. Wearing a fresh green bronze metallic paint, the facelift half minivan, half crossover has had its front and rear overhangs stretched by a total of 95 mm, 3.7 inches. New, and still quite small, 17-inch alloy wheels have a two-tone look with gray accents to match the front and rear skid plates as well as the door garnishes. The T-motif we saw at the front is noticeable at the rear in the updated taillights lending the Expander Cross a more modern appearance. With a minimum ground clearance of 220 mm, 8.6 inches, the family hauler should be able to easily handle bumpy roads, but bear in mind this is no off-roader. With the mid-cycle refresh, it does get Mitsubishi's proprietary active yaw control, YSE, but it's obviously not an active rear differential like you get on an Evo. Instead, it applies the braking force on the front wheels to improve cornering, based on the steering angle, brake pressure, longitudinal g-forces, yaw rate, and wheel speed. Changes have been made inside as well where the 2023 Expander Cross gets an electric parking brake, a digital instrument cluster, and a larger touchscreen now measuring 8 inches. The old-school knobs of the climate control have made way for a screen while a wireless charging pad has been added as well. Shown here is the version with the CVT, but the model is also offered with a 5-speed manual gearbox. Fitted with a clutch pedal, the model has a slightly higher ground clearance of 225mm, 8.8 in. Power is provided by a naturally aspirated 1.5-liter gasoline engine with 103 horsepower, 77 kilowatts, and 141 newton meters, 104 lbft, of torque, so it's definitely not the fastest fan out there. However, it's a solid choice for a family looking to buy a versatile and affordable vehicle with three-row seating, just as long as they don't mind the front design. Well, that was quick. Earlier today, we reported about the imminent reveal of the new Mitsubishi Expander Cross. Well, people, it's already here. And by here we mean in Indonesia where expanders are made. Mitsubishi has officially pulled the wraps off the facelift Expander Cross at this year's Gekindo Indonesia International Auto Show. It sports that new stylish Expander design paired with the signature rugged cross look. Mitsubishi's dynamic shield is still visible up front, but the grille is now flanked by a pair of large T-shaped headlights. More black plastic trim extending from the underbody claddings can be found on the front fascia and there are now added grey trim strips that accentuate the doors. Out back, the Cross also sports the same pair of taillights as the refreshed expander. The bumper on this end looks more subdued than before, though, as Mitsubishi has dialed down the ruggedness and reduced some of the plastic claddings. As expected, however, no changes can be found under the hood. The new Mitsubishi Expander Cross is still powered by a familiar 1.5-liter four-cylinder gasoline engine that generates 103 horsepower at 6,000 rpm and 141 newton meters of torque at 4,000 rpm. Unlike Philippine spec expanders, though, Indonesia's Cross is fitted with a CDT instead of a traditional automatic gearbox. Also worth noting here is that the Expander Cross now comes with active yaw control, a feature that was once available in the famed Lancer Revolution.
Thanks for watching. Drop a like. Leave a comment. And don't forget to subscribe to watch more videos like this.